I need help. My marriage is falling apart. My name is Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation and I'd like to help you with that. I've helped many marriages that have reached your point and even those that have been much worse. I actually was in the divorce business before I got into marriage healing. And so because of my connections, I used to speak at Second Saturday, which is a support group for women who are going through a divorce. Now we're talking about two decades ago, but things don't change much. By the time women are looking for uh, help with their marriage and they're still in the midst of a divorce and men too, we have to really take a look at starting fresh. And so this is what I did because the clients that I had when I was doing divorce mediation all came from therapists and traditional marriage counseling, all of them, all of the marriage counselors, virtually all of them have very poor success rates. And the reason why, and this is important for you to understand, is they work on symptoms. When you walk into a marriage counseling session, they'll ask you, okay, tell me what's up, what's wrong. So they're starting with what's wrong. And then they analyze and they go, well, how was your childhood? What was your relationship with your siblings, etc.? It wastes so much time. My philosophy, on the other hand, and it's very different, is that you cannot fix your falling apart marriage by addressing the symptoms. You have to go to the root causes and you can't get there from here. You can't take the symptoms and go back to the root causes any more than you could take a broken glass and put it back together. You need to, in effect, recreate your marriage starting now. You have to recognize that the reason your marriage is falling apart is because you didn't contribute to it being an amazing marriage. It's interesting because it's living. Think of a plant. A plant doesn't just stay stable. It's either growing and producing beautiful blooms, more leaves, getting healthier all the time, or it's going back. It's unstable for whatever reason, and it's deteriorate, deteriorating, and it will eventually die. Marriage is the same way. So with a plant, using that analogy, if the leaves are starting to turn brown or yellow, you don't fix the leaves one at a time. You go, I wonder what's wrong with the soil. The foundation that supports the life of the plant is what you need to deal with. And this is true with the marriage. So my advice is very simple. Stop, take a look at what your marriage is supposed to be and start putting your attention there. And you'll turn it around because it's living. So let's, let's look at what it's supposed to be. Interestingly, it's the same as when you first got married. Why did you get married? You got married to be happy and you had an expectation for happiness and you got married so that you would experience unconditional love. The kind of love that only comes through voluntary expressions of love. Those are the two guiding principles for the Marriage Foundation, for all the work we do to help marriages. It's very basic. And then you use your free will to make sure those two things are happening. Well, you could start that right now and you could start making it unfalling apart. 
You can do that. You have to stop the things that you're doing wrong. Let's go back to the plant. Now, let's say you have a plant and you're over fertilizing it. You got to stop over fertilizing it. Or you're putting it in the sun too much. You got to not put it in the sun so much. There's things you have to stop doing. And then there's things you have to do. You have to make sure it's getting proper nutrients in the soil, proper water. Marriage is the same. You know, one of the biggest mistakes that people make, probably the biggest mistake, is that people get married as if it were a destination. Now, if you get a new car, you get a new apartment, you buy a new shirt or a new skirt, you recognize automatically that those things are going to require maintenance. You have to wash, dry clean, clean, change the oil, whatever it is you get, whatever it is you get, there's maintenance involved. But people get married, and you know what it is because we live in a world that teaches how to maintain things on a material plane. But we don't learn about the spiritual. Love is spiritual. You're a soul. You're married, you soul mate, but you don't nurture that love. You have expectations that they're going to, but you don't. And they are the same on the other side. They have expectations that you're going to nurture the love, the romance, the friendship, all the components of marriage, but you don't for them. So the marriage is falling apart. You want to go and talk about how they're wrong all the time about this or that, how they mistreat you, or... And this works. The or works. You change you. Don't worry about them. Now, it's very wonderful when both of you are on the same page and you both want to work on the marriage. It's not an often time thing that happens. Usually it's one or the other. And I'll tell you something. When I've worked with people and one of the spouses dragged the other spouse in, that really doesn't work. So if it's just you, and let's assume it is, because 80% of the time, that's the reality, you have the ability all alone to completely turn your marriage around, to bring back the love, bring back the harmony, bring back the friendship, the dynamic of connection, you have the ability to do it. Now, I hear all the time, well, why should I? If they're not into it, why should I be into it? That's therapeutic nonsense. There's a bridge between two of you. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Let's call it the bridge of love. Why not? Well, let's say one of you is on one bank of a river and the other's on the other. You're not the same person and you want to build a physical bridge. One of you is going to be more adept at doing so. The other may be lazy about it, but you both want to have that bridge. But one's going, they're being a little coy. Well, you know, I don't know if I really want to build a bridge. But you want the bridge, and you know that once you build the bridge, that's what you want, is you want to connect. You don't have to both work on the bridge. One side can work on it 100%. And then the other person will have a bridge to connect with you on. So we're all about, at the Marriage Foundation, we're all about happiness and unconditional love. We're all about the philosophy of you deserve it, you have the right to it, you have the right to expect it, and you need the tools to create what you have the right to have. It doesn't come to you automatically. It's not how things 
anything works in the world. But when you know the simple steps you need to take, it works all the time. So if your marriage is falling apart, don't give up. Don't be discouraged. We hear all the time about marriage counselors telling literally, I cannot believe when we get this, we get it all the time. My husband and I or my wife and I are having difficulties, but my husband or my wife, and it really it's both the same way, is seeing a therapist and they're saying your marriage is over. And I'm going, oh my God, what a crappy therapist. So don't buy into that. Your marriage may be falling apart, but like that plant, you can start again and you can make it work. You can. Don't try doing it on your own. Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. We learn in two ways, don't we? We either learn through experience, which really is trial and error, or we learn vicariously, meaning we've learned from another who has laid it out for us. Do you want to go to a doctor who has only learned by their own experience? Or do you want a doctor who has learned vicariously from all the experiences of other doctors? So at the Marriage Foundation, we've built up a body of knowledge. You should draw from that so that you can have not just a fixed marriage, not just one that's not falling apart, but an amazing marriage. It's not just possible. I've been doing this for 20 years. Thousands of people. We see it all the time. Very, very, uh, compared to other solutions for marriages, unbelievable success rate. So much so that we guarantee our courses unconditionally for 90 days. Because we know that what we have put together works. Now, does that mean we're the only ones who have something that works? No, but we know ours works. So use someone's process that you know works. Don't experiment at this point. If it's falling apart, why would you experiment? Have the determination that you will have, not that you want, but you will have what you wanted when you first got married. Ever-increasing happiness. Every single day, you should be happier ever-increasing love. Those are the blooms on the plant. You should be in a marriage where you're walking on cloud nine, that you're singing in the rain, that you're just loving life, and you can't even believe it. This is what I promote. I don't go along with waiting for the other shoe to drop. I go along with expecting that you will have amazing, but you need to know what you have to do to have that. So don't be discouraged, be encouraged. Feel like, yeah, I can do this, and I'm telling you, you can. We've seen marriages where the couple's already separated and it's able to come back together. We, we have a free service at the Marriage Foundation. We're a nonprofit organization. We have a free service where you could write into our counselors. Now, the truth is that they will guide you either to the book, one of our books, or to one of the courses, but they'll also tell you if you ask, what are the odds of my making this happen? 99% of the time, you're going to get almost 100% chance of having success if you follow their suggestion. So you have nothing to lose by doing that. So you could write into the counselors. Again, it's a free service. At least test the waters. 
look around, listen to some of the other videos that we've produced. You know, subscribe to the channel. Look at the articles. See what our philosophy is. See our approach. It's very positive. And it's always successful. And that's what counts, isn't it? So, like this video, share it with other people, and blessings to you. Blessings to your spouse and blessings to your family. And don't give up. Now's not the time to give up. It's the time to turn your attention to recreating your marriage the way it's supposed to be so that you could have unconditional love ever increasing and ever increasing happiness. Okay, thank you. God bless.